All right, back where we left off in the last episode. Let's get on with the right? gigs. How much you know about the job? Not much. Hands mentioned something about athletes and peeps evading taxes. Here's the sitch. At this academy, they're training, molding young athletes. Folks flying from across the world to meet them, sign contracts. You're going in as a scout for the San Diego Shredders. Name's Victor Wilson, 28, and you're looking for a wide receiver. Scheduling you in their system now. You following all this? Got it. San Diego Shredders, Victor Wilson, 28 years old, looking for a wide receiver. Well done. Just remember to keep a tight lip, no unnecessary chatter. Once you're in, find Fiona Varga's office, the Academy's director, and pull data on every scout who's ever signed a contract. Questions? All clear. Great. Quick scan, and... you're good to go. After you, Victor Wilson. <laughs> so he's a gentleman now. Who'd have thought? Later. Oh wow, this place is actually pretty nice. Hello. Hello. Welcome, Mr. Wilson. If you'll join me, please. Yes, I am uh, Mr. Wilson. It? Everything you see here is protected under an NDA. Should any information about our athletes be made public, our contract with the Diego Shredders will be terminated, effective immediately. Makes Ouch. sense. Sounds serious. If I may, I suggest you start your visit at our world-class bar. Drinks are on the house. Johnny likes well, that idea. Got my first mission for you. Need you to neutralize three shots of tequila, stat. Hey, I'm with you. That's a great first mission. 1800 silver, please. Sorry, y'all. I don't like gold. Sorry to disappoint. Oh, damn, dude. For this kind of crow. See that, Johnny? Ladies and gentlemen. The next junior for the 2077-2078 season is Katie Damn. McCann. Damn. They're auctioning kids or what? Katie you monsters. Is a young but extremely talented soccer player. Hey, Top good for you though, Katie. Midfielder. <laughs> oh, they're betting on kids? Good for you, Katie. <laughs> no. See a free spot on the other side with your name on it. Yeah, definitely. Alright, these guys are gonna interrogate you, and you're gonna want to shut them down. Otherwise, they're gonna take you to a room and uh, figure you out. Our next athlete, whom you'll have the pleasure of meeting, Keila for me. Yes, as I just said, Keila eighteen hundred. Please, silver on the rocks. Can I get a double shot of sense on tequila? That's not what I said. You didn't say on the rocks, dude. You gotta be cool, me. Come on, man. I've got a lot to teach you, bro. Just kidding. I'm actually really cringe. I'm with the San Diego Shredders, scouting for a wide receiver. You say the Shredders? Small world. I'm Caden. Ain't nobody We're talking to you. Two Nosy back. ass. Vic Wilson. Wait, shopping for another wideout after re-signing your franchise stats leader? Man's an all-time deep threat. Uh... What's his name? Yeah, we're not gonna answer. We're just gonna Look, pal, go back to your you post, dude. To Moss, but I don't know you, and I don't discuss team business with randos. <laughs> Bill, I think our friend here needs something stronger to loosen up. Work on your own drink, pal. And yeah. another. Fuck yourself too. What the? That was tempered glass. What I wouldn't give and to know if you secret. Damn. I'm sorry. About. I have to close the bar Forgive for a second. Me, ladies and gentlemen, but due to damaged equipment... What? I got two more shots to go, asshole. To sneak behind the scenes of this oh my god. Circus. Oh, well. I mean, you're right there. Johnny asking me to leave Johnny a bar, Silverhand huh? Johnny asking me to get up from a bar. Something new every day. That it is. Alrighty. So, we can do a few things. We can just active camo and pot pack there, but I'm actually going to go do it this way. Alright, this should have a few controls on it. Whoa, whoa there, whoa there. Gonna want to door to control room. Yeah, let's definitely open that up. Turn off all the damn surveillance things. New employees? 
Don't know what that's about. Okay. Don't want any of that stuff. I'm gonna try to my best to stop taking a bunch of random freaking loot. Hello? What's up here? Of course, I climb up on the wrong side. That's so me. Robot, are you alive? Apparently not. But. Okay. Interesting. Random ass robot up here. All right, y'all. I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for my active camo to come back up. Finally, you can go this way and go to the door over here to the left, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. I'll just run up here and pop active camo and keep going. Camera should be down anyways. Nice. Gonna guess it's a right. Let's go right. Damn. Training these kids get None here. of you guys seen anything. Haha. -ha. Who the hell are you? Damn, look at you training. Hello. Whoa! You scared me. Sup? S sorry, didn't mean to. Hmm, let me guess. You're with the team. Here to pick me up? No. Afraid not, kiddo. No, oh, that's too bad. How are you holding up? Everything all right? Ah, oh, not this again. I already had a talk with that shrink this week. I've said all there is to say. Who brought you here? Who? Me! I applied! I was chosen! The look on mom's face when I told her I'm leaving Eugene to become a pro, <laughs> she was so proud. Oh, these Your kids mom? have no idea. Don't you miss her? Sometimes, that or they're in serious denial. Only a little, and I try not to, because, because I'm strong. What you reading? A biography of Diamond Day, my favorite basketball player who was born right here in Dogtown. Did you know she trained with... Now, if you'll excuse me, sir, I'm on a tight schedule. I yeah. have to focus on my training. What about you, little boy? No? Got nothing to say, huh? Okay. Anybody over here? Hmm. I don't know what's... I don't know where I'm at, guys. I'm lost at this point. Authorization only, huh? Who are you? Darn it. It's got it. I... I was just looking for a... It's alright. What's your name? Tommy. How'd you get in here? They let you out of your room? Well, I know a few tricks. My dad's a techie. He taught ah, me a ton of stuff. Nice. Hi, Tommy. My name's V. What you doing here? Uh, nothing. I'm just kind of here. In the director's office? Come on. I know you were looking for something. Yeah, sort of wanted to see if I got picked for a team. But still no one. It's not fair. I've got all the right skills. The right chrome. I'm super duper fast. Your day will come. Just takes time. That's all. It's just, well, I'm getting old. <laughs> you, old. 
Soon no one will want me. Not even the worst teams. Dad said I can't screw up because we live in Dogtown and career in sports is our last chance. Hmm. Tough having that responsibility. But if it wasn't for your family, what would you want? Uh, have some fun, I guess. Or take a vacation. <laughs> That'd be neat. You're a good kid, Tommy. Know that? I know. Hey, chin up, kiddo. It'll all work out. You'll see. Say, little whiz like you wouldn't know where Fiona's terminal is, would you? Need it for a sec. It's right there. Can't you see? Yeah, I well, figured. Would you look at that? Silly old me. See? I know everything. Yeah. Clever little rascal. Now buck up and get out of here. Or Miss Fiona sees you. Yes, sir. I just need to find uh, th th that thing. Okay. Well, you do that and I'm going to steal everything on this PC. Well, would you look what at that? What in the... Tommy, out now. Wait, that can't be a coincidence. He was looking for your office. I, I was just trying to help. Please, Miss Fiona. Leave the boy out of this, please. It's okay, Tommy. Don't gotta stay. Fiona and I need to talk grown-up stuff. Right? Ah, uh, that's right. Now run along, kiddo. Reasonable people, I'm sure we can work something out. What is it you want? Well, honestly, the bottom one, but let's just Password go with the first to one for right now. The data of every suit you've done biz with. Transactions, contracts, agreements. Whole enchilada. Uh, what do you intend to do with it? Got it backwards. I'm the one asking questions. I have a duty to protect my business and my clients. You understand that, I'm sure. Business? <laughs> the fucking gall. Think of the children. Would you really deprive them of their only chance for a better just life? Just gets better and better, this bitch. If you please, just hear me out. I'd like to make you an offer. Start talking, and it better make sense. Thank you. Come, let me show you something. Hmm. See this? My patience is wearing thin, Fiona. Mark Elway, 22 years old, exceptional basketball player. Monica Diaz, 25, ranked top 15 worldwide in tennis. And our brightest star, Al Ford, the NUSA's heavyweight champion at only 21 years old. Guessing I'm about to hear this is all cause of you. I helped them, me. And if you leak my clients, this center will go under and these kids' bright future darken quick. Including Tommy. His file's right here. You help me, you help him. It's a kind of cynicism that deserves a medal. Cheap plastic kind. Hmm. You're well, using then? Tommy as a bargaining chip? We all have choices to make. Here's my offer. We do a controlled leak. I'll hand over the data of a few clients of secondary importance to me. Your employer wants names, transaction details. They'll get them. Everyone walks away happy. Those kids who end up on the street with post-op implant sickness. You don't think they hang their picks here too, do you? How much you making off these poor kids and their parents? Unlike your, uh, profession, I provide chances for a better life. Not for free, granted. But the parents know the risks. It's in their contracts. Knowing and understanding, two different things. Go to Night City. Look at all those kids walking the streets alone. Can you claim they're better off than our future athletes? You're a real good Samaritan, huh? Why go to all this trouble? Well, if you really want to know... It's cheaper. Not because you're chipping kids that are too young for it? Ha! <laughs> you think we're the only ones? Name me one professional athlete without implants. You can't. The earlier you start, the better long term. Sports would be a snooze fest without them. 
What are Tommy's chances of scoring a contract? Close to none. Out of the best players, only 15 to 20% get signed. Tommy will probably be going home. Without any scratch to maintain his chrome, regulate his organs, and keep his body functioning properly. That's how these things go. You either win big or go home. But maybe you can still help Tommy. His file doesn't have to stay on my desk. Okay, this is really freaking hard morality wise. So if I just say fuck your offer, then um, pretty much all the parents of these kids are going to be really upset because she is kind of right. This is like all those kids only shot at, like getting out of Dogtown. So like most of the vendors and Let's stuff here in Dogtown will kind of like uh, raise the prices or something like that. But if we do it this way, then one of them, I think a clothes vendor, will give us a discount and Tommy will get signed and we get the data anyways. But man, this is this is one of those really hard ones because at the same time she's right, but at the same time Johnny's right too. This is, the whole op is kind of fucked up. They're only getting like auctioned off to like go play sports and shit. They're not actually getting like tortured or anything, but it is really, Let's really fucked up still. But with that said, I'm going to go ahead and do the leak and Tommy gets signed. And she can continue, quote unquote, helping kids, even though I really want to shoot her and everybody here in the face. I'll accept your offer. Long as you make sure Tommy gets a contract. A good one. Done. You take part of the data and Tommy gets into some local European league. Won't be stardom, but it's still a dream come true. Hands are dirty enough. Thanks. <sighs> data transferred. Let's not make this any longer than it needs to be, Place shall we? Burn with her inside it. I do agree. All right, before we go ahead and leave and the data, let's go over here, grab Jenkins tendons and a skill shard. And if you want, you can go in here on the computer and read that uh, this person is really grateful for this lady and this one is really not and uh johnny was right and the modifications made their daughter sick and they're not gonna help but yeah god i really want to shoot this bitch in the face can make sure tax evaders don't go unpunished. You knew they were chipping kids there. Why so dramatic? It's an open secret by now. Everyone knows what goes on there. Few care. If I've offended your sense of moral decency, I do apologize. Contract close. Until the next time, V. Damn, man, I thought you were cool, dude. All right, as I said, we don't really need to do those airdrops anymore since we got the uh, all the iconic weapons. But if you want the iconic little uh, cyberware mods, then go for it. I'm pretty sure you'll probably more than likely get one. All right, everyone. So for me, the last two gigs uh, aren't up yet. I'm guessing once we probably beat the rest of the main missions, it'll probably release the last two. So for right now, I'm going to go ask Misty about the new tarot cards we found, aka oh, yeah? she's going to give us a little hint about the last four endings. But it's a mission, so let's complete it. Hey, Misty. I happened upon some more murals. A little different, these. Can't say exactly how, just different. Hmm. Describe what you saw for me. So, saw a guy wielding a pair of swords. Mmm, you've met the King of Swords. One of my personal favorites. <laughs> something good? Well, the King of Swords sees clearly and is a strong voice of reason. But when emotions run high, even reason can't always rise above the jazz. His truths are often sharp, painful to hear. Some would rather cover their ears, live a lie, if only to avoid suffering. Saw this figure sitting there with, dunno, a goblet maybe? Ah, the King of Cups. Oh, be especially careful with anyone you've met who this card might be pointing to. Well, gotta be careful with everyone I meet these days. 
On one hand, the King of Cups signifies understanding, emotional balance. On the other, he's the opposite. Manipulation and spiritual crisis. And V, hun, the last thing your spirit needs is even more chaos and disappointment. So there was this figure seated, holding this thingamabob like a club or a scepter or something? The King of Wands? So... That suggests you've met a leader who sticks to his principles in pursuing his aims, or even some grand vision. Okay, good or bad? Well, as ever, it depends on you. The King of Wands suggests fresh opportunities, the discarding of old patterns or habits. But it implies a certain danger, too, of ruthless action and shortcuts taken. And in the end, it could demand a sacrifice towards fulfillment of some great expectation. And lastly... So, um, saw a hooded figure, star, pentagram behind him. Devil's dealings, your area of expertise too? Mm, the King of Pentacles. Having dealings of your own, with one who's built a rich, powerful realm through sheer determination. Someone like that. Dangerous, V. World looks different from atop a throne. Your reign is constantly under threat. Hmm. <laughs> Rather deal with satanic shit, honestly. Saying I gotta be on my guard? I'm not sure simple caution's enough. Bad fate's stronger than that. But follow your heart, I always say. Even in defeat, you'll remain true to yourself. Sheesh, you're a real chum, Misty. Thanks. Great insights. Still not sure what to make of what I saw, though. Well, I think you're caught between strong personalities. Boring ones, even. They all want to influence you, though not all of them necessarily know it. <laughs> Nothing new there. Don't dismiss it, V. You've got new possibilities to explore, new paths to tread. On the way to either your salvation or doom. The choice yes. is still yours, though. You still shape your life, your fate. So what do I do? What's the right path? Just be true to yourself, V. Your heart will know the way. A life-changing event is likely imminent. Watch for it closely. Thanks, Misty. And to anyone who might not know where we are for some reason, Good old Bradbury and Buren in Watson. Mr. Hands? Briefly, V. Netwatch has dispatched a hunter as the quarry. Exercise uh, caution. Yes, as I mentioned in Say the last what? video. Bree Whitney sold the Militech's data, then disappeared. Netwatch is now out to wipe anyone who came close to it. Occupational hazard. Take care of yourself, V. Wow, thanks, Mr. Hands. For Chick the tip. fucking haze me. Indeed. Is that them? Is that you, you son of a bitches? Are you around the corner? I'll fuck you up. No, just some chooms hanging out. Look at me, dude. Trigger happy. All right, you guys. So really quick, I'm up here at the damn viewpoint in Santo Domingo. I just want to talk to you guys about a couple of things while I go and grab this iconic that's actually really super freaking rare. I don't even know if it's going to be here, but... At least I'm gonna show you guys how to grab it because I don't know if it's ever gonna pop up. But God, why is everything so really bright right now? That's actually really nuts. Holy crap. But um, yeah, so this is the BFC 9000, 7000 or something. It's another dildo. It's another iconic dildo weapon. But um, you get it by coming right over here and um, jumping right underneath the dam and taking out this dude and he'll have it. There's gonna be a guy that spawns here, but um, another thing you can do is you can actually, with the new update, you can choose what color you want your caliber in. So I'm going to go ahead and choose... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and make it really freaking blue. Yeah! Blue-ish, right? Kind of, sort of. But that looks freaking good if I do say so myself. Okay, let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. Let's go see if this freaking jackass is here. Looks like I got a little text message here. There he is. Look at him. Little friggin' asshole. 
really hard to get to, by the way. I would recommend double jump for sure. Look at him. Hugo, the bouncer. Let me! Please, please, please! Anyway, we're just gonna take him out this way. BFC 9000. And if we were to equip it, yeah, dude! Sir John Falastiff has a friend! The BFC 9000. It reads, No amount of pornos and skin beauties can prepare you for an encounter with the BFC 9000 attacks. At high stamina, I have a greatly increased crit chance. Packs a few extra inches for improved range. Strong attacks deal more damage, both physical and psychological. So, what do you guys think the, uh, the name stands for? <laughs> you get three guesses. <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, it, it's over 9,000! This guy wanted help off. Let's go ahead and just... Oh, I didn't mean to throw him like that! I'm sorry! <laughs> I meant to set him down all nice. Well... Gear down. You're welcome. This guy crashed here, and he got stuck, as you can see. I don't know. Obviously, he was doing something with the BFC 9,000 and got stranded here. So, uh... Be free! Be dildo! Dick to the face! Big ass cock to the face! <laughs> Dude just throws up after taking a dick to the face. Yep, I probably would too. Ah, <laughs> oh, the popo! Can I throw my dick at you? Nope, I can't. Ah! Listen, don't test me. I'll slap a cock in the oh. <laughs> What did I just say? I'll slap a cop in the face with my cock. All right, you guys. You know what? Before I start talking, let me put my big black friend away. So, um, just a couple of things here. Um, there's a crap ton of Easter eggs, man, and hidden things around, you know, the world of cyberpunk. For the most part, uh, I'm pretty sure we got almost all of them then again you know there's this game is freaking huge there's still stuff being discovered like today and uh you know we might have missed one or two and if we did that's okay it's still 100 percent to its truest and i had a lot of fun with this game but um a couple of things that have not popped for me but you know there still might be some time for it to pop um there was one specific mission involving the base game uh, having to do with Carrie Uridine storyline with Blue Moon. Uh, she was supposed to call me and we were supposed to take out a stalker of hers. And uh, I have like, well, I don't even know. Let me look, man. I have like 200 hours into this game by now. Yeah, 200 hours, man. And, and that's a lot of freaking hours. A lot of it might just be me just like standing here. I leave my, you know, console on a lot. So don't take that for what it is that I've, you know, put 200 hours into this. But. Yeah, still, it's still 200 hours of in-game playtime nonetheless, and I have yet to still get that call. So there might be some things that maybe just might not pop up for you guys. So, you know, if that happens, I don't know, maybe just continue to run around Dogtown or Phantom Liberty or, uh, you know, just a regular Night City. And maybe, well, you know, one day eventually you'll get that phone call for that mission, but... I don't know. We'll see. There's still time to uh, see if, you know, we get any more calls for a couple of missions that uh, we may or may not have. But yeah, man, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed the walkthrough this far. If you guys are, you know, have been here since, you know, the base game or if you guys are just finding Night City. I hope you guys, you know, this guide has helped any single one of you. If not, hope I've been, you know, at least somewhat good entertainment for you guys. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. But I've really kind of done, you know, my best to um, research thoroughly and, you know, go into the deep reaches of the internet without, you know, getting too much of spoilers for myself. So, again, I do hope you guys have enjoyed. And I really hope I have, you know, covered everything there is to cover. I feel like I've covered absolutely everything, you know, obviously except for the endings that we're about to go do here shortly. And, uh... We'll see if there's any point that I don't have to complete the endings for the next two gigs, but they might actually spawn up um, after the endings. Who knows? So um, 
yeah hope you guys have enjoyed yet again sorry i know i keep saying it but i really do hope you guys have enjoyed so far and i'll see you all in the next episode so you're not gonna believe this but pan am is actually addicted to the u.s crack song that we made carry and uh the u.s cracks make that's kind of wild but yeah this is our conversation real quick and i'll go ahead and leave you guys with that